mostest with the mostest. The queen bee with the money, honey. B plus. That's right. And it's time you all bow to the real queen bee. Here she comes, the most beautiful bee in the universe. You're stealing all the bees just because you're jealous? No, that's just a bonus. My actual plan is to capture all the queens. Their hives will then have no choice but to follow me. Well, hello. We figured we'd go with the, the short intro today, considering this is um a pre-recorded video. Um, there's just so many people live right now, and I'm just like, I don't know. I kind of figured I might as well just record. I've been meaning to do this for a while. I've just, you know, things have been crazy. Like, I have, <laughs> you know, this week was supposed to be my, my week off from school, and it's... First of all, it went by way too fast. And second of all, there was a whole fiasco with the fact that I had turned in. I literally clicked on the wrong paper to turn in for my final project. And I sent what I had written, like the 23 page paper I had written the last term. And because it was on break, I didn't check my email because I'd never, I didn't think I, I didn't think I had a reason to. So um, and apparently the, the instructor had reached out to me and was like, hey, you know, you sent me this project on, you know, on, um, you know, a, a different topic. And we're supposed to be talking about the Tate Museum's digital transformation. Um, and I didn't see it. And then the grades went in. So I got a failing. Like I, I pulled up my grade. I'm like, how, how the hell did I get? How the hell did I fail this class? <laughs> like what? But I think I think I think it's all straightened out. Today was the first day of my next term. So almost done with grad school, guys. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I have five classes left. Um, so I am getting there. Um, and that kind of leads me into one of the topics that I was going to kind of cover today. And, and this is not what I exactly what I wanted to do. I have a very in-depth show for you guys um, that I've put together with, with receipts and just a lot of visual stuff for you. Um, not that you got not. And by when I say you guys, if you're listening to this, generally you guys support me which I appreciate hundred percent. Make sure to hit that like button. It is a free way that you can support the channel and help me get in the algorithm. So make sure to hit that thumbs up and hit that subscribe button while you're at it. Um, uh, you know, it, that's another great way to support me. Um, Cause I certainly, certainly, um, well, we'll get into that in a little bit, but I would really, I would, I would very much appreciate anybody's support and it's a very easy way and it's absolutely free. So yes. Um, so I, I'm putting that together for you. And that live is going to be titled The Nightmare Before Christmas, because that's what we're seeing right now is exactly what I said. Um, so before and, and I, I oh God, guys, when I, I, I have gotten sent some of the most ridiculous nonsense bullshit, like I, I can't even I have no words. I have no words for some of the stuff that I have been sent recently. Like, I, I don't even know what to say. You know, it's like I, I don't know who like which one of you guys. Oh, oh, my God, guys. Wow. 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 Um, <laughs> oh, there's just so many things. And like, I can rehearse. Sometimes I rehearse what I'm going to do when I come on live, just to make sure I'm communicating well, because my thoughts are everywhere. I have ADHD. And that's kind of what I was going into is that, you know, with my ADHD, I know a lot of people are like, oh, it doesn't exist. Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, it's made up. Well, I have been diagnosed like by a professional when I was six years old. And I've been on medication for it ever since. Like it is something I struggle with and it's not just, you know, not paying attention and hyperactivity. There's a lot more to it. And if you're familiar with ADHD, you would know that, that like, you know, those classic symptoms that people often associate is, is really just, just a fraction of what it is. Um, so a lot of stuff that's easy for other people is not easy for me. And that's kind of going to lead into the topic that I want to kind of go into a little bit, because I do want to explain myself on a few things uh, because, yeah. So, you know, with my ADD, a lot of the time, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. So that, that goes, especially for things like checking my email, which is, you know, kind of what I said, um, or responding to text messages a lot of the time. Uh, you know, I know that there's a person who I do want to talk to. And if I don't respond to your text, it doesn't mean that I don't want to talk to you. It just, my brain doesn't work. So, you know, same goes for email. So if you want to find me guilty in the court of YouTube for not responding to your email fast enough, do it. But what you're not going to do is lie about me. So 
we're going to address that. And I, I did address it, but I think people were like, oh my God, B, why would you do that? Why would you post someone's email? Well, you know, you, you send stupid emails, you get stupid prizes. And I have no intention of, I don't want, like, I just don't care anymore. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of this shit. This nightmare before Christmas, everybody, hold on guys. I got to mute really quickly. This is so unprofessional. Okay. I'm back. Um, yeah. So my brain's like everywhere. I've just, I have so many things, so much to talk about and I don't even know like where to start. Um, I don't, I really don't. And, you know, of course I woke up to this morning, um, all hell breaking loose on here. And I, I'm just, I mean, a part of me was just kind of shocked, I guess. Like I think everybody knows or should know that I obviously am not okay with anybody's personal information being put onto YouTube. I don't agree with that. I'm not here for that. Um, I would never do that. Um, so, I mean, you know, regardless of the issues that I've been having with her, I don't agree that that should have happened to Granny's watching. I, I'm not here for that. Um, nope. Uh, but you know what? Like, I, I just like, I'm just, Everything I've seen today has just been, I, I have no words. I really don't. I'm just like, what the fuck? Like, what, what, if, what is, what is this come to guys? Like, what is even going on? I don't understand a lot of what's going on either. And I'm glad I don't. Uh, Cause I've been kind of focused on my own stuff and putting together my own case for you because, and here's the thing. Like, I know a lot of, most of you support me, but like for the ones that are on the fence about supporting me right now, which I know there's a, quite a bit of you, quite a lot of you. Um, and for those of you who are probably hate watching at this point, you know, the ones that used to like me and now decided they can't because of, I don't know, reasons. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, just, just hear me out. Cause like, you know, I, I know what I found on YouTube is that I can show as much proof as I want and it's still not going to change people's minds. Trickery. Stop, 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 stop it's still not going to change people's minds. So a lot of the time, like I, I struggle with whether it's my, uh, uh, no chicky. Sorry. He's trying to step on the keyboard. Not the chicory. Come on. What do you want? Oh, this, this cat is like the bane of my existence. Yet my favorite thing in the whole world. Um, isn't that what cats are though? But you know, I, I just struggle with like, what what what's worth doing and what's not and like i know a lot of people have commented and they're like you know your incentive for not stooping to those levels is not being like the other people and i get that and i appreciate that people remind me of that um because sometimes it's hard like you know i've been i've been being attacked for days and days and days and i found out that a whole bunch of shit was going on behind the scenes that i didn't even know about i'm i'm grappling with whether i want to post certain things either like I was sent an entire Google Drive, a whole Google Drive of information regarding this matter. Um, and, and not just stuff that pertains to me, by the way. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no. Um, this pertains everything. And, you know, people are like, well, if you have it, why don't you put it out and prove it? Why don't you prove it? Well, I, honestly, guys, like it's not my I don't want to put it out or else I have to. A lot of it doesn't pertain to me. So it's not my business. Um, and I'm talking about Discord stuff. And also there's like some some private text messages in there. Like, I feel like that makes me no better than anybody else. Like, I, I'm not going to post those. Uh, but there's a whole Google Drive going around of it. So um, just FYI. So. I've only, you know, I've been grappling with how I want to handle it because like, you know, the, the, the angry part of me wants to just show it all. But then I realized that like a lot of it involves other people. And I don't know if this has been emailed to them. A lot of them are subscribers. So I'm like, 
I don't know how to even contact these people. I don't want to do anything anybody's not comfortable with. But guys, when I tell you there's a lot of information and stuff's going to be coming out, I, I mean it. Like, you know, I don't, I don't, I'm not just over here, like, you know, starting problems to start problems. And I, I really am tired of the people coming over here saying, why are you doing this to Jess? When nobody begs, you know, asks, why did she do this to me? Okay. You know, am I perfect? But I no. but I have a right to respond. I had no idea that she was talking behind my back about me. I had no idea that while she was smiling to my face and pretending to be my friend, she was secretly behind the scenes trying to ruin my channel and get people to cancel their memberships and take away any financial help I, I get on this platform. You know, it's kind of a shock to find that out. And I mean, I don't know. Do you blame me for being mad? I, I, I mean, I, I bet you would be mad. I lost all my memberships. I haven't even gotten paid for like, uh, I don't know. You guys are going to laugh. It's probably like almost three months, two months. Um, because I don't meet the threshold of the amount of money for the AdSense to even pay it out. And I was wondering what the fuck was going on. Because that's not normal. And all of a sudden it was just taken away like that. And now I fucking know why. I, you know, just because I haven't come on here and talk about it, about the stuff that I know and the stuff that I've seen and the stuff that I have, doesn't mean I don't have it. OK, so I will put stuff out as I find necessary, because no matter what I do to show you proof, is that going to change your mind? Let's be real, guys. A lot of you were part of those conversations. So you already know it happened. So why do I have to? Why is the burden of proof on me when it's in your your like discord or your group chats? Like, I don't need to prove anything. You already know. Like, so that's what I just, I, it, 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 oh, hmm. but yeah, you know, it, it is, it, it, it fucking, it fucking hurts to find out that somebody you thought was a friend, um, was, you know, trying to take everything that you have away from you on here. Uh, and why, why, why was that? Because my parents have money. Was that it? Because my parents have money. Hmm, okay, cool. Yeah. Because that has everything to do with me, right? Like I, I don't, I don't mooch off my parents. That's not how our relationship works. My parents, that, that would not happen. I assure you of that. So, um, you know, me getting a handout from them does not come without jumping through some major hoops and things that I hate doing with every fiber of my being. Because I'm almost 34 years old. I'll be 34 this month, guys. We should do a birthday fund or something. You know, I don't know. Oh, or we could do a whole Natasha Cooper style, you know, B pluses lost income fund. How about that? Because you cost me probably between two and three hundred dollars worth of revenue per month. Per month. So that would be a quick. Yeah. Mm -hmm, sure. So, yeah. Do you blame me for being mad when you're the reason behind that? Um, no, I'm not. And, you know, to any other creator that, you know, is still sticking around. Uh, I mean, uh, I hope that that's not happening to you, but don't be shocked when it does. Because I had no idea and I didn't even do anything <laughs> like that's that's the funniest part. Um, you know, I literally I'm a channel. I was talking about Natasha. I was talking about Natasha and probably 95 percent of my stuff. And people thought it was about her. And now why is that? Because that, you know. I don't know. I mean, if you thought it was about her, then I mean, that says more. I mean, she even said that in her own words. That says more about like, you know, her than it does me. And me, like, it doesn't make sense, guys. You guys don't make sense. Um, And it's just, it's been a really stressful week. Uh, I just, I'm at a loss for words about this community in general. Uh, I just, I don't even know. And, and at this point in time, you know, if, if people are going to be so quick to hate me, then I'm not even going to try to justify anything or myself or whatever, because all I every time I turn to something, all I hear is somebody lying and I'm going to correct those lies every single time, um, which is what I did uh, because she was up there saying that I was scamming somebody. So I was like, oh, that's interesting because I never asked this person for money. So that story you just told, that whole timeline didn't happen. And I have proof of that. So first of all, why the fuck is that person? Because I actually had people come to me privately and say that I can't be mad at Jess for saying that because it was the person in the chat who was lying and not her. But I'm like, that's that doesn't work really because like if she doesn't know that that's true or not, 
Why is she saying it up on a panel like it is? Because that's literally not what happened. Now, if this person wants to find me guilty of not responding to their emails, um, we we can go there. We can go there. We can go there. Okay. Yeah, we can go there. First of all, I had no idea that this person was a man. I I don't know the gender of this person. Um, I had no idea that this was somebody who had donated to um, Chicory's Tooth Fund. But as you could see in the email that I posted, they received their money back. And my response to them in no way asked for more money. Hold on. Chicory just knocked the lamp over. <sighs> in no way did I ask them for more money. So I don't know where that's coming from. Um, and what really kind of, and this person had sent me a lot of, a lot of stuff for the pets. Like I put my animal, um, wish list and they sent me quite a bit. And, you know, I always try to, to do a community post to say thank you. And actually I have them on here that I can show you just so you all can see that I did those things. And every single time I get an order uh, or delivery, rather, I would put it all together and I take a picture and I do a community post. A lot of you probably remember my community posts right? I'm sure many of you remember it, but like, you know, I took a picture of every single one, you know? Um, and I'd always say, thank you so much. Like, that's so generous. I really appreciate it. And I still do really appreciate it. Of course I do. Um, and I said it publicly every single time. I don't always check my email for a variety of reasons. First of all, like I said, I have ADHD, so out of sight, out of mind. And then the other part of it is that, you know, what I don't, sometimes I just, I avoid opening my email like the plague because when I open it, there's sometimes stuff that it just puts me in a bad mood. And I've explained that before because they'll put that jab that they want to get at you in the, in the, um, the subject. So you have to see it. And I was getting a lot of those at that time. And this was in the spring. So this was like, uh, this had to have been at May, May, uh, May or early June. Uh, definitely. Yeah, I'd, I'd say May. Um, and you can all look for yourselves. If you want to scroll back in my community tab, I said, thank you every single fucking time, every single time. And what ended up happening is there was one instance where, and if you guys blame me for this, then, then fine. But like, you know, I, I literally posted one of these thank you posts, right? Because I had just gotten a package from the Amazon. I literally watched the Amazon driver walk up to my stairs and place the box on my stairs. I then took it and brought it to my kitchen and took it and put the stuff on the stove and took the picture of it, just like you saw. And I posted it. And in the comments, the person who had donated it said that basically insinuating I was lying because their tracker, like, you know, the, the package tracker said it had been delivered an hour prior. And I was like, what are you talking about? Because I literally just watched him drop it off. Literally just watched it. And I don't know, that didn't feel really good. I was like, what, what the hell? I don't know if this person's at a different time zone. Like I have no idea why or what that, or maybe they were looking at the wrong thing, but like, I know my truth. So I know what I saw and I know I took that package directly right after the guy had dropped it off. So, and then I was like, okay, like, and it was, it, I'll have to find, maybe I think I probably did take a screenshot of it. Um, Cause I was like, what the hell? Um, and it was, it, you know, the way it was written, I mean, how I took it was, it was kind of, um, kind of aggressive. And like, of course I appreciate anything people donate. I do like, obviously and i had said thank you and i i've been very gracious and you know i'm I'm trying to show my thanks and it was a really nice heartfelt like because everything i write i mean i it was i i really appreciate it like and then it, oh my god and that kind of it was off-putting i'm not gonna lie but like even so i'm like okay well you know i explained myself i'm like no it was delivered then that, that they wanted me to check my email and I had, I was literally taking a full course load for grad school. I had all of that going on. I was trying to scramble to get all the work in on time. It was crazy. Like it was a crazy time. And I would say I would do it and then I wouldn't do it. But my, that's my ADHD paired with my uh, just crazy life. And I didn't end up doing it. And then they would start adding me in chats and then I did respond to one email and then they continue to like at me at chats constantly. And I was like, I'm not going to repeat myself. So like, I don't want to have to show those, but like the point is, the point is if people want to find me guilty of not responding fast enough or, or whatever, fine. But you can't say that like I scammed somebody 
how did I scam somebody? Like, what? And then the, the part that also bothered me was that there was a, a that the end of May, I think going into June, I ended up getting COVID and I was really sick. And a lot of people can attest, if you remember, I wasn't on YouTube. I would go into a chat to say hi, but I'd get out of there real quick because looking at screens of any sort was making the headache so much worse. I wasn't on YouTube at all, and I certainly wasn't checking my email. And that's when this person had been kind enough to uh, send some cat food and a dog bed. And that was amazing. But I didn't do a community post of it when I received it because I was so sick, guys. Like, I was so sick. And as soon as I was able, I took a picture of my dog using the bed and posted it and said, thank you so much. And then in that post also said, you know, it was a godsend to have this cat food that you sent me because, you know, I, w I wasn't able to leave my house and it was a godsend to have cat food here. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, but, you know, and then I was getting told that, uh, I, you know, I didn't. Uh, I, and I said to this person, I, I I had COVID, like I wasn't looking at my emails. Like, I'm telling you, like, you know, I appreciate people's donations like very, very much. But at the same time, you, you got to be like, you got to be patient with me here. And I don't, I didn't realize that this person thought that I wasn't being gracious or anything like that, because everything that I'd done, I had done was appropriate, I thought. Um, but then they've been, um, I guess, going around saying I'm scamming them. Uh, to granny and said that I had asked them for money even uh, when I had, had done no such thing. And I put that that um, screenshot on my community wall if you're interested in going to look at that. That is my last correspondence with that person. And if you would like to show me where I asked for money, because I didn't realize they had donated to Chicory's Fund, but because, because of my ADHD, I didn't link a bank account to the GoFundMe within their amount of time that they allow it. So everything got refunded. And the reason I kept it in the GoFundMe was because I was trying to be transparent and show people that if you give me money for this, it's go it's going to stay there until that time, because his appointment wasn't till the end of May, which had to get rescheduled because of course my, I got COVID and they wouldn't, it was a whole thing, but um, I started raising money in February. So I was like, I don't want to raise this money in February. And you know, have people wondering where it went if I take, you know, so I left it in the GoFundMe and I didn't link a bank account before it was too late and it got refunded. And in that email, you'll actually see they came to me to ask me why their money was refunded. And nowhere in my response did I ask them for money. Nowhere. You won't find it. Didn't happen. So that goes to the question is why, why is that, you know, person lying about me? Um, that I don't know. But then, you know, why is granny taking that as fact and then spreading that is, you know, I don't know. So that's what that was because people are like, well, why are you sharing that? Well, I'm sharing it because I'm, I'm done being lied about. I'm done being lied about. Granny showed my stuff when I thought we were friends behind my back when I had done nothing to her. So that's a bit of a different situation, in my opinion, because I had done nothing to her. And I thought we were friends and she, uh, she says she's responding to something. I still don't know what she's responding to because nothing happened. Oh my God. Oh, oh my God. What was the next point I wanted to make? There's another, what was the next one? Um, oh, guys, I just had it in my head too. And now it's like gone. Oh my God. It has been a long, long, long week. But yeah, I mean, I, I just, I, I'm really not understanding why, you know, I put out my truth. I put out my, everything that I had been feeling. So people are like, you know, saying that I'm in the wrong and bad for having feelings about this stuff happening, you know, by somebody I thought was a friend and nobody can show me what I did wrong. And people just want to run with information that isn't even true. And that's how misinformation spreads. And people want to just believe anything that's, you know, thrown at them without asking for proof. When I know people know me better than that. That's what breaks my heart. Does that sound like something I would do? 
No, because I wouldn't. Um, and then I have so who else do I have words for today? Oh, yes, Dorothy. Uh, Dorothy. Dorothy, I see you. Okay, I see you. And I see you are up on your little press tour, um, going wherever panel you can go to, whatever chat, um, to tell people that I have done, uh, what is it, uh, lied about all sorts of things, right? Um, and I know you're upset that I'm showing up in chats that you frequent. I, I know that's probably very upsetting to you. I get that. But I have said that I am, like, I'm not going to bother you. Like, I'm not speaking on you. All right? I'm not speaking on you. I've never lied. I did not lie about those things. I will swear on a stack of Bibles in a court of law. I never trolled as your child. Never. Never. I have an idea who did. That was brought to my attention. Um, because I'm like, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm like, if, if anybody knows, please, please come to me because like, we need to put this to rest because this wasn't me. I would swear it in court of law on a stack of Bibles all day, every day. I will come on camera and look you dead in the eye and tell you that I didn't do that because I swear on everything I love and care about. I swear to God, I did not do that, nor did I lie about anything else. And you're going up on any person's channel at panels that'll have you to say that about me. And you're not only putting them in a weird situation, but you're also bringing stuff that I don't really like to talk about, which is like my struggles and things to an, a wider audience. I would like it. I don't actually care if people believe that I'm lying about having substance abuse issues and, and stuff like I good, please. Yes, I'm lying about that. OK, I would rather people think that that I am so like embarrassed by that. And like there was so much shame for me with that. I hate it. It is what I hate most about myself is things that have happened with that. And I don't want to talk about it. And I don't want people to think that about me. That's where I'm at with it. Okay. I don't know why you're dead set in saying that I'm lying about things that people have seen proof. And you're still doing it. And I told you, I am sorry for anything that I did that may have crossed over a line or a boundary. I am sorry. Because there are some things that I did in my lives. All of it's up, though. So it's not like, you know, something I, I mean, if I think anything is subjective and debatable. Um, there were a few times that I've said things that I wish I hadn't. But like, I really don't cross boundaries that are like, <gasps> oh, my God. It got, it's not really a me. That's not really my style. Um, you know, I'm not really into, you know, doxing or going real life or really anything like that. That's not really my jam. Um, no. Why the fuck? Why? Oh, what? I'm so confused. Oh, my God. Oh, whatever. Um, my YouTube is like blowing up with something. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know why I'm being tagged. What am I being tagged in? I don't know. Um, what was I saying? Oh, yes. Yeah. So, you know, Dorothy, I apologize for that. Okay. If there was something that I did that you felt across the line, I am sorry. And here's the thing. Here's how I know that, like, I think deep down inside, you know, I'm not lying is because right before I kind of started talking to Jess, you had actually come to me in a chat and I saw it. I have a screenshot of it. And you said that you would be interested in talking to me and you were used, you know, kind of love bombing. You're like, Hey girl, you know, I'd be open to having a conversation with you. And that was after all of that happened. So why would you be open to having a conversation with me if I was lying? Right. Right. So, you know, at that point in time, I had never talked, I had never spoken to Kim privately at that point in time. And I hadn't spoken to granny since like, probably the end of December. Actually, before that. Um, it was late December. So I, I really don't know why. And why would I care what medication you take? Did, was that even a rumor that was going around? Like, I, I don't even think I've heard that about you. I don't think anybody said that. So why why would it matter if you take medication for things? Like, why would I? Like, that, that's so ludicrous. And you can believe me or not, it doesn't change the truth. Like my title says. Uh, it's it, it's the truth. I swear it on a stack of Bibles in a court of law under oath. Both of those things. So, Dorothy, I would really, really appreciate it if you stopped doing that. Okay? 
because there's no reason that we can't coincide, right? You know, that, that I'm not like, you know, looking to come back to your community. That's not what I'm doing here at all. Not going to happen. But I'm also saying that, like, if you are in a chat or if people that, you know, support you are in a chat, I am respectful. I'm never going to come at you. I will correct lies if that starts. I will correct those every time. But, you know, there's no reason that we can't like the same creators. There's no reason that we can't, you know, coincide in a chat and just ignore each other. Yeah, there really isn't and there's no need to go on any channel because that puts them in a bad place too like you know the, they might not know me very well and i know what you're trying to do is you're trying to discredit me wherever you can so people don't like me i i get that and i know it's probably very upsetting to see me there but i'm really not i'm not there for like i'm not there for blood like i'm really i'm just over the toxic shit and my issue is not with you so at this particular point in time, or else you'd like to make it about you, uh, in which case we can go from there. But I don't think that's what you want either. So, yeah, I think that's what I have to say about that. I'm just like, uh, ugh. Because it's like no matter where I go, it's like, you know, I click on a chat and I'm trying to, like, be friendly with people that I haven't really gotten to know, and that, you know, because we never really frequented the same chats. And then all of a sudden there you are, you know, talk, saying all these things that I've done that I literally never did. I don't know how many more people need to tell you that I didn't do something or that they've seen proof of something for you to like, just leave it alone. But you know, there's that. Um, there is that as well. So, you know, and, and if I make a mistake or if I spread information that isn't correct, I mean, uh, I am more, I am not above apologizing for it. Okay. And a lot of the stuff that I, you know, would talk about, about Dorothy, a lot, a lot of, much of that is my opinion. And I said, so I don't think I communicated anything as fact that wasn't, cause I was trying to think to myself, is there anything that I would deem inappropriate in hindsight? And, and I mean, I, I can only think of a few things like very minimal, but, um, comparatively to what she said about me anyway um but whatever whatever uh it doesn't matter because that's i just my issue right now is with this i mean i suppose dorothy went after me for no reason too but you know dorothy's version of going after me is a little different than uh what granny was watching has been putting me through I would take a uh, dragging from Dorothy any day of the week over what I've been dealing with this past, I don't know, has it been two weeks now? Um, and don't get me wrong. Like I've gotten a lot of hate thrown my way from Dorothy's camp. Oh, woo, believe me, <laughs> we could read some of it off. Um, I know they don't like me. That's fine. Um, but uh, you know, I never really got to know those people and, I think what sucks the most is that the people that I'm getting hate from now are people that, you know, just not that long ago, I was in a chat or would come to my chat or would interact with me and say how much they liked me. And um, nothing's changed except just is saying stuff about me that isn't true. So I don't know. It just, you know, it, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel good. And I get it. I get it. And I understand why it happens, but I want people to understand that, like, I'm not just over here deciding to cause problems. Um, I don't know how you would feel if you found out that, like, the money that you were making from YouTube is literally cut off because somebody uh, had an issue with uh, God even knows what. I'm not sure how you'd feel about that when all of everybody cuts their memberships and you find out that, you know, there's a campaign going on behind the scenes to make that happen. Um, that there were people saying not to donate to my my fundraiser. Um, when I literally would never have done that to her, you know, and if people want to talk about saying thank you for gifts or whatever, I mean, Jessica, you never said thank you for anything I did for you. I've sent you many things off your Amazon wish list, and I haven't gotten a thank you. Um, I've sent you Venmo, never got a thank you. Uh, Super Chats, donated to your PayPal. I don't think I've gotten a thank you for any of it. So, I mean, for you to even take on that argument of me being ungrateful for gifts that I receive, why don't you take a look at yourself? Because I have, I haven't gotten a thank you. 
and I did. You know, I, I always try to give where I can. And I thought that she was like a struggling single mother. And in that message to her, I, I was on her, in my Facebook messenger and I had messaged her and I said, you know, you know, I have so much respect for you right now. Like I wouldn't be able to do what I do without help from my, you know, my parents and my support system. And she kind of made it sound like she didn't have a support system and she was doing this all on her own. And I felt terrible. I was like, I want to be able to help if I can. So I spent over a hundred dollars on gifts for her and her children. Um, and I bought for like four other people in this community too. You know, some of them have said thank you to me. Others of them might have changed. I don't, I don't expect a thank you, really. I just wanted to make that of a point. Like, I just, you know, if you're going to say that about me, that, you know, but it, it doesn't really matter. But it's just, it, it's crazy. I'm just so sick of the, why are you doing this to her? What do you mean, why am I doing this to her? Why don't you ask her why she did this to me? I didn't just wake up one day and decide that I wanted to, you know, have an, have an issue with Granny's watching. I did not want this. I did not want this. Yet here we are. And now that I'm finding out more and more and more. Oh, my God, guys. Wait. Just, just wait. Just wait. Because I know there's the thing. Put out the whole Discord. Put out the whole Discord if you want to prove the context. I assure you, Granny. I assure you. That there is plenty. And if other people have been sent this, which I'm sure they have, I don't really speak to any other creators outside of here for the most part. Um, but I, I'm assuming that you maybe have been sent the same Google Drive as I have. And, and it, there's a lot in it. Um, a lot of it I really wish I hadn't seen, honestly. Because, like, yes, it, it, like it lets me know things, but it, it, it hurts. I, I am... I have no, I have no words. I really don't. Like I said, like most of it's not even in regards to me, but I mean, there, there's plenty in regards to me, but there's, there's much more on other people. And I'm telling you, like, it's some people that like, I don't even, I, I just, I'm grappling with how to handle it. You know, like I'm grappling of whether I want to put it out or like, cause I'm, someone's going to, it's going to happen. Somebody is going to put it out. Um, Like, I'm just, like, grappling with whether I want to open that can of worms or not. Whether I want to do it. Like, I have I have a lot. A lot of people have started to send me stuff, too. Um, including, including a screenshot that I found really disturbing. And I don't know where it came from. So, I'm not saying that this is coming from Granny's Watching. Because I have no idea. In fact, I don't think it is from her camp of people. I don't think so. Because... I, I just, I don't, I just, in my gut, I don't think it is, but I, I mean, who knows? Cause there's no context. Somebody emailed me and it was a random email. Like it, it, there's no identifying information on it. And it was a screenshot of their text messages with a um, Zillow listing of my parents' home saying that this is her legal address, which yes, that is my legal address. Sure is. Sure is. Um, when I moved back to Rhode Island, I was staying with them for a, a bit of time. Well, for a little less than a year. Well, I got my shit together. Uh, and then I moved out. Um, but when I moved from Massachusetts, I had to switch my license over. And that was the address I used. And when I get my license renewed this time, it'll be at my new address, but yes. And there's no date. Like there's no information. All it says is I'm sorry. I sent this. To it. it doesn't tell me. So whoever it was, like, if you're listening, could you please like, I you don't even have to tell me who you are. Just like, I, I need to know the context of that. Cause you can't just send me a picture of my parents' house and you saying this is where she lives it's her legal address like you, you, i you know and you can't not tell me what the context is okay like i need to know you don't need to tell me who you are but i i need to know the context so please 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 send it please please um because there's nothing else in it like everything else is like blacked out like there's nobody else's part of the conversation but you can tell there's more that you know what i mean it's weird it's really weird guys it's really weird um but it's unsettling. 
it's definitely unsettling. And I don't think it's unsettling because somebody was like being menacing about my, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't feel that way. I feel that this person was just trying to prove that like my legal address is my parents' house. Um, which I think that's something Dorothy was kind of pushing, wasn't it? So I don't know. I'm not sure, but I would like to know the context because I, I, I don't really feel comfortable with that. That's, mm, mm -mm. I mean, if you want to come clean to me, I'm not going to be mad either. So um, I kind of was thinking about putting out like a kind of a public service announcement thing. Because I know that like there are people that um, went after me pretty hard when I was supporting Granny. And those people probably don't have a reason anymore to go at me. Um, but I really am curious as to who's responsible for a couple things and I'm trying to find the best way to figure it out. I'm trying to find, I just, I have a lot on my mind and like people and, and I, like, let's be honest guys. Like it doesn't matter what comes out about Jess. Most of you like her you don't have a reason personally to dislike her and it doesn't matter what happens to me or anybody else because it didn't happen to you and i'm not saying that's a bad thing that's human so it doesn't matter what comes out i don't think any of you are really going to change your mind um and if you do okay but like that's not even my intention my intention is just to to clear things up and get all of this off my chest i'm really tired of like people projecting their own um insecurities onto me as to you know I, if i get called fake or not standing for something one more time i think i'm gonna scream uh because there's a difference between blind loyalty and like i am loyal to a fault to people who are my friends but if you no longer wish to be my friend and you communicate that loud and clear where why and even then i didn't do anything sneaky or shady even then you won't find it like i said you'll i mean before you and i granny and i started talking again this past spring you will find plenty from me saying stuff talking crap behind the scenes she knows this i told her that i set it up on panel um for a lot of reasons and actually i found some really great screenshots guys i wonder if it'll let me upload it from here oh i would like to Oh, I would like to, because people are like, well, granny didn't do anything to you. I'm like, well, that's actually not true. I have plenty that granny did to me prior to me deciding that I liked her. Cause I always liked granny and I was just hurt that like she was doing some of the stuff. There was some really passive aggressive comments that I got. And then, you know, she like and made a video about me and she left some real interesting comments under that video. Brittany sent me those. So thank you, Brittany, for sending me all of that because i wouldn't have seen it otherwise so thank you um where granny says i am like a fraud and i'm uh, i don't know a whole bunch of weird stuff and i'm like where is your basis from that because at that point like you know she and i talked briefly like in november and december but like nothing else had happened so i'm like what the fuck that was news to me then too but i'm like all right like I don't know. She's got a lot going on. She's got a lot of people attacking her and maybe like maybe something got confused and I was in Dorothy's chat and you know, I know Dorothy kind of went at her really hard in a way that I wasn't comfortable with. Um, but, uh, <laughs> you know, it, and I decided, I was like, you know what? Like I, I really, that's what happened was I started making videos defending Jess because like I did not agree with what had happened to a lot of the stuff that happened to her. Um, and now I'm hearing though, that every, all like the narrative has changed or whatever. Like now she's saying apparently, I, and this is, I'm just so, like fair warning here. I did not hear this with my own ears. So this is kind of hearsay, right? I'm not going to say something happened that I don't know for a fact did, but I've heard from a couple people seeing it around in chats that now it's being said that Dorothy was the one who described her parents' house and where she lives over the garage. Um, no, that wasn't Dorothy. That was Natasha. I'm not lying when I say that I have the clip of that somewhere. I just find it interesting that today 
it suddenly de like was determined that it wasn't Natasha. Well, I heard that with my own ears. And actually, I was just listening to a little bit of Christiana Leanne's, and both of them remember it too from Natasha. So it did happen. I do have the clip somewhere. Also, ADHD. So I have I have like over 3,000 videos. Like, guys, like I'm not even kidding. And it's probably part of a longer one. So when I go to hit play, it'll start and like I'll listen to it for a while and I can't find it. And it, it's somewhere. I do have it though. I do have it. I swear that on a stack of Bibles too. Um, but that definitely happened. So I don't really know why Dorothy is getting blamed for that now because Dorothy didn't do that. Um, that was Natasha. She And that was what in like, that had to have been in the winter time because I remember where I was, where it happened. I was walking in the cemetery and I remember I like, I paused and I texted both of my moms. I'm like, I, I took the, the screen recording and I was like, are you hearing this? Because at that point, Jess and I weren't really like, friendly and i had been getting these like you know rumbles and clips that she was saying all sorts of things some of which i think were lies others of which i do have proof of so i i don't know um i don't know i mean who knows maybe britney wasn't lying to me i don't know at this point i don't know somebody's lying somebody's lying but you know so i i i like i remember i stopped and i'm like this is so fucked up like do you hear what natasha's doing right now I know, yeah, and it was cold out. It was kind of a dreary day. I know exactly where I was when it happened. I know exactly where I was standing in the cemetery, too. I have a weird memory like that. <laughs> so I have, like, a really... I haven't. I don't have a great, like, short-term memory. It's so... My, my brain is fascinating. Like, it, was it neurotypical or neurodivergent? I don't know. But my brain is, like, it. it how it forms memories is, is weird. But I have very vivid memories for things. Um... I don't know. And I can't tell you why some things turn into vivid memories and some things I struggle to remember. I, I don't know. But that's a very vivid memory of mine because that was like definitely on my list of some of the more because I'm like, you know, they they already know what state she lives in. People know her full name because that's been put out. Now you're describing what her house looks like. And where she sleeps. And at, I was like, that is so fucked up like that. That is not appropriate at all and i've always and people are also saying that they're disappointed that not more channels are speaking out or speaking up for jessica well here's what i'm going to say to that okay i made it very clear at the beginning of this i don't agree with what mandy did i don't i would not handle it that way i'm sorry i don't even think there's a but after that like i i i, I don't agree i don't like i have oh i i just don't and I know that it's like a complicated situation and there's a lot of he said, she, I, 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 regardless, I don't care. I don't agree with it. I would not have handled it that way, but I don't control everybody, you know? So like, I can't control how, uh, why, I, I don't know why other people think it's okay. To, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I wish it hadn't happened. And I woke up to it and I was like, God damn it. Like, oh, like the you know, I was hoping that, it, you know, things wouldn't get to that. But, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know, guys. I don't really even want to go down that road. Because, like, I personally don't have, like, a problem with, like, you know, I've never had a personal, you know, thing with Mandy. So, I don't know what's going on there. I have not listened to, like, her lives or whatever. So, I really don't know what's going on. Um, All I know is that what I saw posted, I don't agree with. But the reason I'm not going to, like, you know, make a video or a community post about it the reason I'm not going to do that is because, first of all, I would think everybody is not okay with it, okay? Um, I would think it would be very obvious that I would not be okay with that. I have defended Jess on everything that has happened since I started kind of seeing that she was tr being treated in how I saw it then unfairly. You know, I was the one. I was the one who put out the video of Natasha uh, giving out the um, phone number and email uh, of her probation officer. I stood up for that. I stood up for, I stood up for her. I stood up for her after everything. You can go look at my videos. I take nothing down. Go look at my community posts and count how many times I defended granny. But granny, not once, not once ever stood up for me. And there were a few instances in which I think she should have. Um, but 
the thing about it is that I'm saying it here in this video. I don't agree with it, but I'm not going to write some long thing about it like I would usually do because I, I'm just not going to do it. I think everybody knows it's wrong. Everybody should know that anyway. I don't think anybody should be okay with something like that because nobody would like it if it happened to them. I really don't particularly care what the reasons are. And I'm just being honest with people, all right? I'm just being honest. I just don't agree with it. I don't want it done to anybody. And if it ha and if it happened to Mandy, that's fucked up too. It sounds like a lot of people here have been doxxed by different, you know, this, that, or the other person uh, in their YouTube career or time on YouTube. And that sucks. It sucks. You know, I, I know people like, uh, I don't even like saying that I was doxxed because like, I don't know. I think I kind of brought it on myself, you know? So, and I'm an open book, you know, like my dad's a public figure. So I'm used to my life being kind of everything being by my, you know, my first name or whatever. I have nothing to hide. I really, really don't. Like, if you want to know something about me, just ask. I'm an oversharer. It's a problem. I will tell you anything that you want to know. <laughs> like, And then some, and then probably more that you didn't care about or didn't want to hear. And then I'll probably still keep going because I didn't pick up on a social cue that you want me to shut up. <laughs> like, um, It's all part of my charm. It's all part of my charm. You got that ADHD swag. I'm sorry. I'm never going to say that again. Shut up, Emma. Um, I didn't just, oh, I don't know why I said that. Um, but, <laughs> but like, I know people know my last name. You know, I brought my dad on here and I guess that was like not a, a great idea and somebody did actually go in i forget whose chat it was and i really should go back i'm going through all my old screenshots and stuff and i found some really great stuff guys i found some great stuff that i'm using for this visual presentation for you all because i think it'll help paint the big picture like i said not that it'll change everybody's mind it might change somebody's mind but i don't expect it to change change the world but i am going to put out my truth i am because I, I have every right to do that and I'm really sick of being talked like lied about. And it seems like that's all that's going on. And it's being stated as if it's fact when there's no proof of any of it. But I can show proof that it didn't happen or I can show proof that somebody else was responsible for that. And I'm putting that all together now and we'll go through all of it. I don't care anymore. I really don't like I don't fucking care. You know, if you want to say fuck my feelings, well, then fuck yours, too. I'm not here for it. It's not how I do friendship. And I actually have friends on here and they'll tell you. But you don't just get my loyalty. When it, It's a two-way street. I'm not going to go hard for somebody that like doesn't go. And here are the circumstances. Like when I started getting those emails from Granny Hates Emma, I would have really expected like what I would have done if Granny would have, not that Granny would have cared because of course, according to her, I'm not that important. Um, you know, she also said that to me once and that never sat well with me. Like when I was first starting to talk to her again, I was trying to tell her that I got some emails of like hate when I um, extended my condolences to Natasha when her aunt passed. And I 100% received those emails. I actually read them on a live, uh, but she basically insinuated that because she didn't receive emails like that and that other creators hadn't or something that I was lying because I'm not that important. It was basically the gist of it. So, like, I'm sorry you didn't receive hateful emails, but I definitely did. I don't know why I'd make something like that up. It wasn't like to, to sad fish or, or like anything like that. I was just, I was reading some of these, because one of them was really funny. One of them was really funny. But whatever. Um... Uh, and I guess I overlooked that too. But if that had happened the other way around, I would have done a community post and say, hey, you know, Granny's my friend. So to whoever is doing this, knock it off. Um, because then, it, it, you know, it made me look stupid. It just proved their point that Granny doesn't like me and isn't my friend. Because I got an email saying that too. They're like, well, Granny doesn't even say anything. You know, and I'm like, okay. And I got lots of emails like that. And I still don't know who it was. I mean, some of them go under their own names. Like, I got a lot of very colorful and fun emails from some of Dorothy's mods. Um, 
suspected that some of these emails that I had received were from Lufa. But there's that's the thing. At this point, I'm like questioning everything. So Lufa, if that was not you, here's here's how we're gonna put it, right? If it was you, and I'm putting this out, right? If it was you and I don't get a response, I'm just gonna assume that it's because you didn't see this or nobody told you that I said it. So it's not an indication of your of you being the culprit if I don't hear a response. But if it wasn't you, please tell me. Because if it wasn't you, I need to look into some other avenues. Okay? And you know what I'm talking about. The emails and the other thing that you know what I'm talking about. Okay? And if it wasn't you, I want to know. Because I don't want to blame you for something you didn't do. That's not fair. I don't, I have no desire to do that. I don't particularly even want to have fights with you. Like, I, I don't really know why you came at me in the first place. Because I never had an issue with you, Lufa. Like, I really didn't. I didn't know you. Um, I just thought your name was kind of funny. But, you know, my name's stupid as fuck. So, like, you know, I'm, I don't mean any, I didn't mean anything by it, right? Um, so, I mean, if Lufa, if you are listening to this, which maybe you are, maybe you're not. Or if somebody is close with her, like if if you did not do these things, please let me know. All right. And if I don't hear from her, I'm not going to assume that that's guilt either, because I'll just chalk that up to she didn't hear this. So, yeah. And that's about those the, the emails, because I was getting handfuls of them a day, handfuls of them a day. Um, they were saying some really not so nice things. And I know Lufa was quite angry with me for I don't even know why. Uh, but that's not the point, because I am not here to do that i do not want like i i noticed that like lufa does not have me blocked right now so although it's interesting the people that do have me blocked that's interesting not talking about you lufa okay i see you in chats and i'm not gonna harass you like i don't that's not what i'm about that's never been what i'm about i can coincide with people in chats and not you know go after them ah that's not my style I know somebody who's that is their style, but that's not mine. Um, and you haven't been adding me either. So, I mean, I think we've kind of shown that we could, you know, we could work this out. Um, but it is interesting who has blocked me. It's very interesting. There's been a few people. And I wonder why that is. And it's some of the people that were like, that are regulars over in Granny's Watching, like some of her biggest supporters, the ones that have been there since day one, like me. Uh, ones that I thought, you know, I had a relationship with, but there, I've noticed that I think there's three or four of them I've noticed that have blocked me because like other people are saying hello to them in chat and I don't see them or they're being pulled up on the screen and I can't see them. And I find that very interesting. So why, why is that? Are you saying things you don't want me to see? Is that it? Is she telling you? Cause I don't have any up like current stuff from discord or whatever. Um, and by current, I mean like the past week or so. I do have some stuff from before that. I mean, I'm still getting stuff coming in every day. Like I said, I have a whole fucking Google Drive of it um, that I haven't even gone through all of it. And I, if it was sent to me, I know it was sent to the other creators too. So somebody's going to put it out. I've really just been grappling um, with whether or it should be me. Um. Yeah, but yeah, so I, I just, I don't know what the deal is. Like, you know, I don't know if there's people that are being told that they need to block me, but it's no coincidence that the names that I'm think that I'm indicating here are who they are. Um, and they know who they are. So why are you blocking me? Like, are you saying stuff in chats that you don't want me to see about me? Is that what it is? Um, or do you kind of feel bad that, you know, this is going on and you, you don't want me to see it? Because I have to think, and I hope to God, that there are some of you that have gotten to know me. And while you are in that chat and still support Granny, which is fine, I'm not going to judge you for that. Literally, my goal of doing any of this is not to take support away from Granny's Watching. That's what she did to me. But that's not my goal. If you like Granny's Watching and she hasn't done anything to you, then great. You don't have a reason to not like her. I don't expect people to change their minds because of me. No. You know, your my issue doesn't have to be yours. That's silly. Um, but I have I, I can't, you know, I like to think that maybe some of you um 
you know, don't really like the stuff that's happened to me. Um, and you're not going to say anything about it, but you know, you're going to pipe in and chat here and there because like, you know, you want to fit in or make it seem like I'm, I don't know. And you just don't, you, you don't want to hurt me. And from some act of kindness, you've blocked me. I don't really know. But, um, I did notice, I, I noticed two more today too. Um, over in Natasha's chat, actually, <laughs> oddly enough. Um, I was like, oh, that's interesting. Um, but it's just, it's so weird. It's like, it's very clear that there's been something going on behind the scenes against me for quite some time. And yet still, and, and it's from the people that, you know, probably saw it with their own eyes who are kind of gaslighting me. Like, you know, there were people that were in that discord gaslighting me saying nobody even talked about me. Are you kidding me? Dude, I've seen everything. And to say that nobody's talked about me, why would you say that? You say you're a part of the Discord and you've seen everything and that's gaslighting. So before anybody knew that all of this had come out, you were gaslighting me with that. Well, I wonder how you feel now because you know damn well that I was talked about in there and not just what was posted so far. Come on. It's just, it's annoying. It's annoying. And no, I don't, I know that Discord isn't like a private exclusive group, but you do have to be like accepted into it, I think. Like you have to have a, a link maybe. And I don't, I don't know how it works. I don't know if there's like a process where like you have to be accepted into it after you hit that link or, or what. I don't know what the dealio is. Uh, I don't do Discord. I tried once. I hated it. Uh, I just, I don't do Discord. And I don't know. I, I mean, I, I'm aware of how it works. So I'm aware that it's not like some, but it, you know, you can play it off like you all you want, like you don't care, but it, it does sound oddly like, you know, you do care that it got leaked uh, because these weren't things that were being said to my face. I had no idea, but somebody else said, and I forget who it was, but they were saying that they started to feel it too. Like they'd go into granny's chat and say hello. And you could just tell with like the mods and stuff that something was going, there was just this vibe that like they knew something you didn't know about you. And I was getting that vibe a lot and you can usually tell when all that's happening. So I I've suspected this for quite some time, but to find out that like, you know, I thought maybe it was just because I wasn't putting out content. I mean, I was justifying it, but to find out the reason I lost all my memberships and my income from YouTube was because she made that, she, she made that happen because she was, I don't know. I, I have no idea what I did to not deserve the decency to become to you privately and to deserve having my, my YouTube income taken. Why does that bother you so much? I don't, I don't, I'm not mad or jealous what I am. And I usually wouldn't care how much money somebody's making it. You know, I cared about, I care about Natasha because it's how she does it, but I never had an issue with just making money. I gave her money, but when it becomes my business is when you're making it so I'm not making money. Then it becomes my business. So yes, I will speak on it now. Yep, sure will. So if you want to be concerned about what I'm making and you want to make it so people cancel their memberships with me and don't donate to my, my fund, which I showed receipts for, by the way, you know, I, I always show receipts. So I'm, I'm all about transparency. So to call me a scammer, are you, do you fucking hear yourself? Seriously, do you fucking hear yourself? I, it's like you're projecting. I, I, it's so mind boggling. I don't understand it. Calling me a scammer. It's rich. How does my family's income, my parents' income have anything to do with me. My relationship with my parents isn't like that. Perhaps yours is. Perhaps you are entitled. You feel that you're entitled to all of that and, you know, their money and help. But I'm not entitled to anything. 
Nobody in this world owes me a damn thing. And I work for everything that I have. Everything. I've worked since I was 15. I got working papers. You know, I was very, very lucky. You know, a lot of people get, have to have student loans to go through college. I, did, I didn't have student loans. My parents paid for it outright. Um, but I still had a job through college because I wanted to support myself. They would have paid for that while I was in school if they, you know, but I didn't, I wanted to be independent. I don't like having strings attached. Like, you don't know my family dynamics, so stop talking like you do. And, and for and keep my family's name out of your mouth too, by the way. Okay. You don't know them. And I just, I find it hilarious. Like, you want to talk about my dad? Um, pretty sure if I was to do something like that to you, there would be a whole outrage. Because that's bringing family into it. I brought him onto YouTube. Sure, I did. But, you know, at this point, your dad has been brought onto YouTube as well. So, I don't know. Um, I didn't agree with that. I, I didn't forget that Natasha did that. I thought that was messed up, too. That's nobody's business. But, like, I'm just like, are you serious? Like, I don't care if you don't, if what my dad came on to talk about isn't something you understand or if it's your speed or something you're interested in. Um, I don't know why it's relevant. Like, you even told me you listened to him and you really enjoyed the live. So I don't know what changed. I don't, I don't know. Um, but my dad is one of the most incredible people you will ever meet in your whole life. He is so smart and just so passionate about the things that he does and he has worked so hard to get where he is and he's just he cares so much about the the stuff that he does um he's he's the best dad in the whole world i couldn't have asked for a better da dad to adopt me i couldn't have both of my adoptive parents we've had our issues and i have not always had the best relationship with them but i have spent the past five years building that back because it's important to me. And they are incredible people. Nothing short of saints. They don't owe me a damn thing. Will they help me if I absolutely need it? Like if it's an emergency? Of course they will. But the way, you have to understand that the way I was raised is if I'm going to go in and ask for money, they're going to ask to look at my bank statements. Because they're not just going to hand me money for, you know, without that's, that's, that's the, that's the compromise. So you can see why I would hate doing that. Right. So, you know, nobody wants to go over their, their bank statements with their parents. Right. Um, especially ones like my mother who, you know, I guess, uh, uh, she, she, yeah. Um, her, she, she grew, I don't, I don't want to talk about her, like her child. I, I really don't, but like, you know, she, uh, she, she, um, I don't know what to say. I don't want to say that out loud. I don't want, I don't want to go there, but, um, you know, I mean, my, my, the, my, they'll be the first to tell me I don't get my nails done anymore. Cause I can't afford it. I used to get my nails done all the time, but it's like, you got to cut that stuff out. But like, if I'm out there spending my money on like bullshit, no, my parents are not going to help me. Mm -mm, no, no, my mom will put her foot down because that's my fault. You know, if it's about like getting my, my lights turned off or whatever, I mean, I suppose like, you know, that would be a different situation, but like, you know, my internet's been shut off a few times lately. <laughs> and like, that's not their concern. That's something I can go without, you know, I had to, I had to downgrade my internet speed which is why like lives have been difficult to even try to do because it's it takes hours to upload and i tested it and it kept dropping like the live uh, but i and i had to get rid of cable i can't afford it right now you know so you can see how me getting a little bit of extra income from youtube would have been helpful right because i go to school online so if i don't have internet and not having fast internet has been pretty detrimental to my learning experience. And I'm still trying to figure out how I can cut corners to, to, um, to be able to have that extra money to do that. But to then to find out that somebody you thought was a friend is the reason that your money was cut off like that. That's fucked up. Why do you care?
what other people are making. Why do you care what other, what fundraisers people do? Why is that your business? I'm not sure what I did or what part of my, I, I literally, I, I don't even understand it. You know, I didn't even fill my goal. I got $350 out of a thousand and I put a thousand just cause like, you know, why not dream big, right? I'm not really sure. Like, and that's the other flip side of it. It's like, you know, and if I tell you guys what I've really made on YouTube, you'd laugh at me because you'd think it's hilarious that I don't make money because that means that nobody likes me and that I'm not successful and I'm a failure because I've gotten both responses, but you would laugh. You would laugh. You know, I made an extra couple hundred over the summer when I had the memberships and stuff. And then it was just gone because I believe, I believe, or else it was just such a small amount. I didn't notice, but my understanding is if it's not over a hundred dollars, they don't pay you until you reach that threshold. And I am left with, I have three members right now, three, three. Okay. 90% of my members canceled mysteriously, almost all at once. And I found out why. Why does it matter if I make money on here? That's so fucked up. Especially when I've given you hundreds. And you didn't donate to mine. Why is that? You know, like, I always try to help people where I can. I have donated to more people's funds on here than I can even count. I bought five people gifts, including you, Granny, for Christmas. Um, Let's see. I donated to your vacation fund. I've sent you Venmo. I have, I could show receipt. I have receipts for all of it. Of course. I never got a thank you for anything from the Amazon. I sent you, I sent something. I've sent stuff for your kids here and there when I could. Um, I mean, but here's the thing, like I'm not entitled to your money. So, you know, if you didn't want to donate, I wasn't going to make a big deal about it. I mean, it was a little bit hurtful personally, but I wasn't going to come on here and like rant and rave about it. Um, but then to find out that you're actively making it so I don't fill my goal. It's really upsetting. It's really upsetting. Because uh, I could really use the money. And I don't know why I'm less deserving. It's fucked up, dude. I don't get it. I don't get it. I really don't get it. So while we're on the, that topic, though, if you'd like to have, get a membership, I do have memberships. Um, I'm not live currently, so like I don't know. I can't like drop a link. But if you're interested, comment below and I can show you how to get it. Or I think if you're on like a desktop or even maybe your phone, you can find it easily. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll post it in a community, um, a community post. Um, so, I mean because because that's also a really helpful way and it's a great way to and and once i like I, I haven't done any members only things because well because i don't have any really members left the past as of because this started happening in august in august people started to taper off and at first i chalked it up to i wasn't on very much uh, but then basically there was a large chunk disappeared and like then they it was like in these large numbers like it wasn't like just one person here and there um, it was suspicious and I lost 90%. I have three left, three, th th three members, three or four members left. Um, and I had much more than that. Okay. So riddle me that. I know you're going to laugh. I know. Ha ha. So funny. So funny. So, so funny. Cause I had a good amount. I had a good amount. It wasn't a ton. I mean, I'm sure you'd still laugh at the number I'd give you, but it was enough to get me an, an extra couple hundred a month. But no, nope. actually, you know, there might be a few more because some people were gifted them by Michelle. So that might add, have added to it. But when I checked like before it was, there was three. So I don't know. At the very least, make sure to hit that thumbs up on this. Please and thank you. Hit that subscribe button. Like I've just been, I've been so grateful the fact that I've seemed to have more support than I realized. 
And you have no idea how much that's meant to me. Because, you know, a lot of people right now are just so determined to make me feel like nothing. To make me feel like I don't belong here. To make me feel like I'm not wanted and that nobody likes me. And I can't tell you how many, I don't even want to cry because it's so pathetic. But like, you know, I can't, it, it's, it's an adoption issue of mine. Like, I can't tell you how many emails I get telling me just those things. All the time. All the time. I've read those ones. And, you know, it turns out that they were fucking right. You know, whoever this Losers of Loserville is, well, they're psychic because they were spot on. Is this them? Yeah, we'll read it again. I get these messages in my emails all the time. Because you're a loser, I don't even use to write your, but whoever this is, I mean, you must be psychic because you were right. Because you're a loser who Granny only keeps around because you defend her like the desperate wannabes you are, her subs don't really like you, as I bet you saw for the award ceremony CJ did. It showed the whole world how people really think of you. How'd it feel to see that no one cares about your content or likes it? I'll admit, I think your videos is better than a lot of those clip channels, but people hate you so much you still came in last. Laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji, laughing emoji. Maybe now you will see what a loser you are and just go away. Granny will never like you, never defend you, and probably talks mad shit about you to everyone else. You are nothing, nobody. Just here to give you a healthy dose of reality. Um, and there are more. I mean, there's this one from, hey, whatever that is. Granny panties don't like you. The subs don't, don't the you. They're the subs don't the you? What? Only, re like, you know, and I get this all the time because they know it's a sore spot for me. You know, and you know, it's hurtful. Now, I know a lot of people like me and, you know, and I know that I, I, I kind of didn't, didn't always, I, I know that because I got emails from this too. And that's the other thing is like, well, I got actually an email from a particular person who's now coming at me hard. Um, for the stuff going on now who actually sent me a very long email telling me how disappointed they were in me when i went over to granny <laughs> so like how ironic is that um yeah it makes no sense like like y'all want to call me fake you want to call uh, mm -mm. you need to look look in the mirror i'm not fake i just don't blindly follow somebody when i'm brought into new information especially when the information pertains to me and my livelihood like, I don't understand why I'm supposed to just ignore all of this and be quiet, as Angela said. Why do I not have a right to speak about it? Would you not be upset if you found that out? Would that not upset you? And trust when I say, because all of you know that I was a good friend to Jess. I mean, anybody who says otherwise is just delusional or has just been brainwashed at this point. But because you were all there, like, you know, you saw it with, for yourselves. And when I tell you that there's more that hasn't come out yet, there's a lot more that hasn't come out yet. But like, I don't think, like I said, I mean, we'll see. I mean, there's more about me as well. And I like, just because like I haven't put, it doesn't mean I haven't seen it. So do not tell me it didn't happen when you and I both know that it did. We both know it. We both know it. So don't gaslight me again, please and thank you. I'm not stupid. I feel stupid because this was going on behind my back and like I kind of knew it. Like I, I had, there's a voice in the back of my head that I'm like, I kind of, kind of think that that's what's going on. But then, you know, my rational voice is like, I haven't done anything. I'm not talking about her. I haven't gone after her. I'm just, I'm not in anybody's chat. But, you know, I guess how wrong we are, because clearly Jessica's very paranoid and I'm not, I, I don't know. I, and I do believe, like I said, I don't think she watches stuff for herself. So I really challenge her to ask the people that are, you know, relaying this information to her, uh, you know, maybe do some fact checking because you were wrong about the one about calling me a scammer with the person that, you know, it told you that I asked them for money, had the audacity to ask them for money. 
after I had like put them through hell, which I explained earlier in this video, quote unquote. So like if I'm guilty of not responding to somebody's emails fast enough or whatever, uh, yeah, lock me up and throw away the key. I have ADHD. It's a struggle for me. I do the best that I can. I really, really do. Like, and that goes with text messages as well. Like, I'll read it. And if I don't do it immediately, a lot of the time, like, I, I, I don't have, like, a concept of time. And it's not personal. And I'm working on it. But at that point in time, like, you know, you, you can't come at me and, like, fault me because I had COVID as to why I didn't immediately put up a thank you post like I did with all the others. Like, that's not fair. That's not fair. You know, it, it, it's just not. Like, I was exhausted. I wasn't online. I, I really wasn't. Um, I'd go in and say hello, and then I'd leave because, like, the glare from the screen would just play into my headache. And I'd get dizzy, and it was just, it was bad. So, I don't know. But... <sighs> I, I really don't know. Like I wasn't, why would I want to start issues with Jess? Like, what would be my incentive? I don't want this. I really was just trying to do the content that I had been doing. And I was talking about Natasha and we were going to go look into analytics and I had a lot of good stuff planned. Um, but now I've kind of gotten derailed and I'll keep addressing this as it happens. But like I said, I'm probably going to do it well, at this point because I, I, you know, a time and place and I can read a room and I'm not gonna, I, I'm, I'm not gonna touch, go too far into it, especially because I, you know, like I said, I, I don't agree with what happened and I, um, I'm not going to add to that today, like time and place, you know, um, but I will soon. And so I'll probably do two more things about, but I, uh, the one thing I am going to be doing is a live and it's going to be titled the nightmare before Christmas. Cause that's what a lot of this is. And what you people need to understand is that Christmas is coming. So you're going to start to see a lot of creators who don't go live very often live a lot more. You're going to see the drama turned up. You're going to see people throwing each other under the bus and doing all of it. It's all for money because Christmas is coming. Ask yourself why this all didn't happen before. It makes you really think about what's genuine and what's not and who's genuine and who isn't. Like, I, I don't know. It makes, it really makes you think. Cause it's like, you know, it's hurting people like that really worth it. Like it, but I guess it is to some people, you know, what I make, I guess is, is a problem. Is it, why is that a problem? Is it because like, you just want all the money given to you and you don't want other people in the mix? Is that it? I don't know, but it's my birthday month. So I'm just saying maybe we should have a birthday party for me on here, or I could go full NC style and do, you know, bees lost income fund. And me and I, unlike Natasha, you know, lost my income on here through no fault of my own. Okay. I, you know, my, Natasha lost hers because she's not supposed to be here. So that's not even a comparison. But I didn't ask for this. It was news to me that Jess felt the way she did. It, it was. It was like a stab in the back. I felt like something was off. I had asked if we were cool. She chose not to respond to that. And yet I still kind of was texting back and forth and like was in her chats and stuff, but it became like really clear that something was going on. And it was like an emotional roller coaster, you know, like I just, I just didn't want a part of it. Like I don't like Brittany, but maybe Brittany wasn't lying. I don't know at this point because everything is just so backwards. I don't know who's honest anymore. I really don't. You know, because now I have granny telling all sorts of lies about me that literally like there's a difference between talking shit and saying things behind my back that were a surprise to me. That's different than literally dragging me for hours with lies. Okay. Like that, that there, there's, it's different. So had she not done that, I would have been more inclined to stick with believing, you know, what had happened with that narrative that, you know, Brittany had lied to me to get me angry um, and was telling me things that granny was doing that granny didn't do. But now I don't even know because she's lying about me. 
A couple other creators have shown blatantly proven lies there too. So I don't know what to believe anymore. Who knows? Who the fuck knows? But I, I think you can realize that it's quite frustrating to, um, you know, nobody can w prove something I've lied about. Honest to God, prove it. You can't. You know, the closest I've come to that is maybe saying something of information that turned out not to be correct because I had heard it from, I don't know. But I certainly have not lied about the things Dorothy is on this campaign going on and on and on about. That needs to stop. Um, and, you know, I haven't listened to everything that Jess has said. I, I really, I just can't. It, it hurts. It hurts. I, I just, I don't want, I don't want to, but like, you know, I will listen to the stuff because people have been coming through with a lot of clips and stuff. People have come through with a lot of screenshots. I've had people turn in their own personal correspondences, which I don't ask for that. Like, I don't, I'm not going to put those out. I, I don't want you to send them to me. I don't need to know. All right. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I just... Some of it I wish I didn't know. But there are some people that feel bad and have information and they're coming to me. And some of them are saying it going anonymously and others others not anonymously. And I, I, I have tried to respond to all of those and saying thank you. You know, I'm not going to out them. But it's overwhelming. I had no idea this was going on. I had no idea. No idea. You know, I wanted to see the best in her. You know, I always felt like I could relate to her and like had a connection because she and I have a lot in common, or at least I thought we did. Um, you know, like I said, I'm questioning everything now, but I, uh, I didn't want to see those things because I cared about her. I cared about her very, very much. And I, I feel hurt. I feel stabbed in the back. You know, I was dealing with all of that. I was just trying to do a fundraiser. And it's like, kick me when I'm down, right? Why? Why shouldn't people donate to me? Because, yeah, I'll make it my business what you make in money if you're going to come and try and cut my income. Then it becomes my business. Because you made my income yours. Except the difference is, is that I'm not going to be on like a smear campaign to try to get people to stop supporting you. You'd never ask anybody to do that because it's so ridiculous and selfish. And I was going through old screenshots today and I was reading, I had actually taken a bunch of screenshots about like narcissism. It's a, like an article of like textbook stuff. Uh, it was supposed to be for a Natasha video, but I want to read some of it out to you. And it's basically signs of narcissism. Um, and I want to read some of this to you because it was really validating. And just think about the community when I'm reading this. So it's not in any particular order, but one of this is like number 10. And so it's feigning other crises. So it says, at first, this control tactic may seem so confusing that you don't even realize it's intentional. This strategy usually plays out in the following way. You start calling the narcissist out on their problematic behavior. Maybe you've completely, maybe you're completely calm and even keeled when you do it, but you have the evidence needed to substantiate your claim. How does the narcissist respond? They don't. They start talking about something horrific or strange or completely tragic that has just happened to them. They want to hear more, but their mom is in the hospital. They understand where you are coming from, but they need to rush their dog to the emergency vet. Um, I didn't do this all in order. This one's narcissists often put loved ones through vigorous loyalty tests to affirm their commitment to the relationship. These tests may consist of repeatedly asking you if you still love them, but they can be far more destructive, like checking on your whereabouts just to make sure you aren't with somebody else. Entitlement. Narcissists have an extraordinary need to control others to maintain their own self-image. Subsequently, they also devalue people as a way to enhance their feelings about themselves. Narcissists also believe they deserve special recognition for their superior talents, intelligence, or personality. They feel this gives them the inherent right to exploit others. 
In relationships, narcissists feel entitled to their partners wholeheartedly. They don't have genuine empathy and they will not respect someone else's autonomy or boundaries. They often become jealous, possessive, or aggressive to exert control. And this is number two, smear campaigns. The narcissist must, must protect their reputation at all costs. When they can't control someone, their worst fear is that person has uncovered their true character. Equipped with what they think they know, the narcissist will go into self-defense mode and start running around spreading damaging rumors. If they do something harmful to you, they will twist the situation to say you do it to them. Their main intention is to, quote unquote, get to you first, end quote. If they suspect you are going to talk poorly about them or even expose them for their truth, they will do whatever it takes to spoil your name first. Sound familiar? Do a disappearing act. Narcissistic supply is like a drug to the narcissist. If they can't get it from you, they will get it from someone else. When they have pulled every trick in the book and they still can't control you, expect your narcissistic partner to pull a disappearing act on you. Some narcissists will disappear for real in search of a new supply. In this case, you will probably never see them again. The narcissist will do everything they can to rid themselves of your life, including blocking you on all social media platforms, changing their phone number, and even changing locations. Number five, the narcissist will subject you to public humiliation. How does a narcissist respond to rejection? The first thing you need to know is that they will never tell you they feel rejected. Oh, this sounds so familiar. Instead, they will likely scheme how to make a complete fool of you in public, whether it's an outright rejection or perceived, reje perceived rejection. Oh, holy shit. The narcissist will become quietly threatening and demeaning, and every act of wickedness will be done with a smile on their face. Um, let's see. Your partner will have a deep desire to punish you for what you have done. The slightest disagreement or constructive criticism will lead to an all-out cold war, and you won't even know it's happening until you are slapped in the face with it. Sound familiar, guys? Here is what to expect if you are ever subjected to public humiliation by a narcissist. Exposing nude pictures. Depending on the extent of the narcissistic injury and how badly the narcissist wants to shame you, they will Guys, are you ready for this? Are you ready? To, are you guys ready? You guys, I hope you guys are sitting down. Quote, unquote, accidentally on purpose, end quote, send one of your nude pictures to a family member. I hope you're sitting down. Use your friends to humiliate you. Flying monkeys are people who assist narcissists in their smear campaign and shaming campaigns. If you ever experience this, don't take it personally. Remember, Narcissists are master manipulators, and they are capable of getting anyone to do anything. If you have been a victim of narcissistic abuse, you know how easy it is to fall for their charm. Using your friends or people you know to humiliate you might go something like this. I, I don't even know what order these are in. Since many narcissists suffer from extreme anxiety coupled with grandiose imaginations. Oh, guys, how familiar? This is like textbook. They often make up various scenarios and believe them to be real. So after denying your partner's sex, he might conclude that you slept with your boss. There's no other explanation as to why you wouldn't be in the mood. So there's no other explanation as to why I wouldn't be in your chat, granny. Um, aside from these, these, what is, what do they use? Uh, grandiose imaginations, right? Like there's no other explanation. Hold on one second, guys. Hold on one second.
Sorry, guys. I had to. Where were we with this dramatic reading? Right. So there's no other explanation for something except it's an attack on them. Okay. So to prevent this from happening again, the narcissist might manipulate your coworkers into spreading a rumor that you have a sexually transmitted disease. But even if this is far from the truth, and even if even if you've never entertained the idea of sleeping with your boss, your office reputation has now been destroyed. That's what you're doing. That's what's been done. This is textbook narcissism. Number six, lie, lie, deny. What happens when a narcissist is exposed? A narcissist will never admit they are in the wrong, no matter how much evidence is stacked against them. Even if you have photographic or video proof, or even if you caught your partner red-handed, they will lie so hard you will convince yourself that you've got it wrong. Sound familiar? Yep. That, that's, this is so validating for me, guys. Despite the vindictive nature of narcissists, it's easy to compare them to children. They tell the same shameless lies. For example, a two-year-old will look you in the eye with chocolate around his mouth and tell you he hasn't eaten the chocolate cake that was on the counter. Narcissists tell the same type of lies, but when they are found out, they are not going to cry, cower in shame, or suddenly become enlightened about their wrongdoing. Instead, they will gaslight you, as this is their first line of defense and the narcissist's specialty. Number seven, the narcissist will bait you. When you stop showing the narcissist emotion, whether it's positive or negative, they will bait you to get a rise out of you. This intentional act of provoking an emotional reaction is their way of confirming power or superiority. During the baiting process, the narcissist removes their mask and gets really ugly. They are feigning a sense of profound vulnerability. They want you to think that they are a good person who truly loves you, and but has temporarily lost their senses. Unfortunately, narcissists rarely change their behavior. Instead, they bounce around from job to job, relationship to relationship, drama to drama. They continue creating chaos wherever they go, even if they change their tune as the years go on. Instead of dwelling on what happens to them, the best thing you can do is focus on yourself. Once the manipulative narcissist can't control you anymore, you have true freedom to move forward. Guys, that was so like validating for me. I can't even tell you. Like I was like screaming while I was reading it because I was like, oh my God, I can relate so hard to that. And then I found this meme that's really um, interesting, I thought. And it's like this little triangle and it says immature thinking. I deserve, I'm entitled, pay my bills, take care of me, don't offend me. It's really all about me. Mature thinking. I must earn. It's about others. Challenge my views. I will buy my own stuff. Nobody owes me anything. I am responsible for my success. Two different mindsets. Night and day. But when I was reading that stuff about narcissism, I had not taken all the screenshots for a video I was doing on Natasha. Um, but it, it fits for somebody else. I mean, if the shoe fits, right? If the shoe fits, you know, and you can believe me or you, you don't have to. I mean, it doesn't change the truth. Whether you believe what I say doesn't change the truth. No matter what lies come out of her mouth doesn't change the truth. You know, I know that like there are also going to be those people that, you know, believe me that I'm not lying and believe my story, uh, but they're, you know, not going to stop supporting her. And that's also fine. I get that. But I really encourage people to ask her for proof of these things, like actual proof, um, or at least, you know, give give me a chance to explain myself on here before you run with like some narrative that's completely bullshit. You know, I didn't start this. I did not start this. I did not want this. But like I said, this nightmare before Christmas, everything has to be a thing. It's like, who can I pick on easily for drama? You know, I think at one point, my my whole take on it, honestly, and I could be wrong because like, what do I know? I, I'm not her. So I can't tell you what she's thinking. But what it feels like to me is at that point in time in like August, she kind of wanted to get into that true crime thing. Cause she was started going on to some weird panels, like, you know, in the true crime community with the Kylie Rodney case. And she was kind of focused. I, I think she wanted to get into that. 
and she saw Britney blow up with that. And who had to go in order to, because she knows that I have a problem with Britney and that I'm not going to stick around. Like I'll still support her, but like, I'm not comfortable being in chats and I certainly don't want to listen to her on panel. And I feel like it was like an easy, easy pick to be like, okay, well, let's throw Emma under the bus and she won't even know it because I'll do it all behind her back. You know, because I apparently don't deserve the decency to be come to privately. Uh, for what, Jessica? For what? What did I do that I don't deserve decency for? Because when I think of somebody doing something that doesn't deserve decency, you haven't even done that yet to me. So, or else you can show me something that I did that was just so terrible. So terrible. I really don't know. Because I did come to you privately. 100% did. You didn't respond. That's not my problem. That's just straight facts. It was news to me that there was a problem between us. And it sounds like you did the same thing to so many other people that I've literally never spoken to. And their stories keep coming out and people keep emailing me. And it's the same thing. The minute somebody doesn't suit your needs anymore it's a burden to have around or i don't know like i really don't know your reasoning really don't it was nothing but a good friend i endured a lot of hate simply because i defended you and i do it again because that's what i do for friends but when it becomes abundantly clear that you're not my friend and you have no interest in being my friend that's where my loyalty ends sorry it's not a one-way street. I'm tired of those relationships in my life. Tired of it. I'm not going to go hard for somebody who doesn't give a fuck about me. I'm worth more than that. I deserve better. I will not be walked on. Not this time. Not this time. And I will not be silent about it either. Okay? Okay. So... This is about as long as I can do for these videos before it becomes um, impossible to upload. Um, like I said, I have plenty more. I have a ton of visual stuff for you guys. Evidence, receipts, evidence, interesting things I found. I'm going to make this a nice visual picture for you guys. For those of you who don't just want to take my word for it, you want to see visual evidence of things. I am going to bring that all to you. And we're not only going to do that about this situation uh, with Granny's watching. We're not just going to address that. Oh, no, 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 no. We, um, we have some Natasha stuff to address as well. We certainly do. Um, I feel like there was one other thing that I wanted to address, but I can't for the life of me remember it now because I woke up to a shit, shit show this morning. I was like, oh my God. I, I, I really, I just don't even have any words. Like, like I said, I'm not here to I mean, I can't even, I don't know why people do what they do. I don't know why Mandy chose to handle it the way she did. I don't know. Um, from what I've heard and what people have said, what it sounds like, it sounds like Mandy is very hurt by something that happened. I don't quite know what, um, but I'm going to, when I get off here, I'm going to try to find out. Um, I would not have done that. I, I, I don't like that that happened. But I don't like that it happened to anybody. And there shouldn't just be outrage when it happens to specific people. And I do notice that as a theme. Um, that's not to say there shouldn't be outrage about this. Uh, I'm just kind of, it's kind of a separate topic of its own. But it's like, you know, where's the outrage when anything happens happens to me? Or I know that, you know, like her or not, guys. I mean, some of the stuff that's happened to Lindsay or, or Dorothy or whatever. And there's like no outrage over it. Like nobody fucking cares. It only matters if it happens to Natasha or Granny's watching. I've noticed. Um, that's really the only time you see people get up in arms and that's great. That means they have a strong community that cares or whatever. That's great. You know, good for them. I don't hate about anything like that. I'm sure as fuck not jealous of either of them. Um, but I do find it interesting. I do find it interesting that there's shitty things that happen to other people and nobody gives a fuck, you know? And that was hurtful too. You know, I had texted her and I was like, Hey, you know, I don't know how you handled it when your dad got called. Cause my family got called and I'm, you know, my dad's pissed. 
he's mad at me. Like, I don't know how to handle this. Like, I don't know if I should continue on YouTube. Like, I don't want him to be disappointed. Like, I feel bad, but like, you know, I'm not, I was just trying to ask her advice. She didn't even acknowledge that I told her that. But like, if she had told me that that happened, I would have done a whole video, a community post and a live, you know, with the outrage. You know what I mean? Like, there's bad stuff that happened to a lot of people. And it's like, if it's not to certain people, it might as well not have happened. And it's just, that's just true. It's facts. So, I mean, I feel like that's how a lot of people are feeling right now. It's like, where was this outrage when this happened to me? Because there are other people that have been doxxed pretty blatantly. You know, and I'm not trying to make this about them. I'm not trying to take away from the severity of what, what happened, but like, I don't know, just food for thought. That's why I'm not going all out. That's why I'm not making a video or a community post, though. Is that I'm I'm addressing it here, and that's, that's what you're going to get. I don't think it's a secret that that's not something that I'm down with. And if you think that's something I'm, I'm in, like, you know, I'm okay with, then you obviously don't know me very well at all. But I will tell you that there is some very sneaky shit going on behind the scenes. There's some stuff that you guys, I feel like your jaw is going to be on the floor just as much as mine has been the past two weeks that I've been getting this information sent to me. A lot of it, like I said, I'm so hesitant to put out because it involves people in the community that probably don't know that they're being talked about. And I don't want to be the reason that they find that out. It's hurtful. It was hurtful to me. I'm glad Lindsay put it out. I mean, uh, because it kind of answered my questions as to like why I don't have memberships anymore and like all of that. But like now that I have the full discord, like in that Google drive and screenshots and uh, a whole bunch of stuff, like uh, it, some of it, I wish I didn't know. It's just straight up hurtful, but I don't want to be the reason that somebody in this community know, like, you know what I mean? Like I've got some screenshots of some people making fun of some people and like, I just, I, I, I can't, I can't do it. I, I don't think I can. I don't think I can be the one to put it out. But this is clearly emailed to many people. So if I don't put it out, it's going to come out eventually. It's going to come out eventually. I know, um, I know Lindsay has a lot more that she hasn't put out. Um, and I'm sure a lot of other creators are grappling with the same. And, and if you guys know what I'm talking about. The ones who have received this, you know what exactly what I'm talking about. Um, I, I'm assuming maybe some of you are grappling with how to, how to proceed. You know, with some of that stuff. Because it sucks to find out somebody's been talking or laughing at you or a whole bunch of stuff behind your back. And I was sent the whole thing, not just what pertained to me. So, <sighs> you know, you guys don't have the, you guys don't have the whole picture yet. And then, you know, I know that people are going to get mad at me for saying this. And, and I'm probably going to get mad at myself for saying this. <sighs> I know so many people are going to get mad about this. But, like, even so, like, I've been hesitant to put some of it out because I still care about Jess. I don't want to put some of that out. I, you know, as, as much as she's come after me, like, I, 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 I just... I just, I just don't, I don't, I don't, I, I, I don't know. I still just, I, I don't want to hurt her. So I don't know. And I know that's stupid. Cause she wouldn't do the same for me, but like, I, I don't know guys. I don't know. I won't be upset if somebody else puts it out. Cause that's their right to do, but I just, I, I, I'm grappling with how to handle it. I, I truly am. I truly am. Um, cause it's a lot. It's been a lot to unpack. I had no idea this, all this was going on. I had no fucking clue. I feel like a dumbass. You know, everybody who was telling this to me was right. All those emails about how much granny hates me. They were right. 
Go figure. You know, at the end of the day, I'm also just looking for a community here on my channel and elsewhere. And Granny, you said the same thing. You literally said the same thing. So for those people who are still trying to say to me that I shouldn't, you know, that I'm ta me talking in chats, going chat to chat to chat, you know, quote unquote hate bonding um, about something that happened to me uh, is unacceptable. Well, you know, Granny feels the same way. She feels the same way about it. And I'll play that again. I will play it again. So you can hear it from her in her own words. So if she doesn't want it done to her, I don't know, perhaps many of us would not want it done to us either. Hold on. I, I actually at this point probably should know how to quote this by heart. But I have so much shit on this phone. Oh my god. The fuck is that? Oh. Oh, that wasn't nice of me to say. Oh well. <laughs> And I, I own that, too. I, I say some shitty things sometimes. I say some dumb shit sometimes. I sure do. Like, I, nothing. I'm not crossing boundaries and shit. Where the fuck is this? Uh, hold on. I'm determined to find this. I was even going to branch out into other, other like topics and stuff too. And then like all of a sudden all this happened and like my entire world came like crashing down. And then I'm like scrambling. Cause I'm like, what the fuck? It's just, it's frustrating guys. It really is. It's frustrating. You know, I deserve to be on YouTube just as much as anybody else. I deserve to make money on here just as much as anybody else. Who are you to tell people who they can and can't support? Who are you to say that? I'm really fucking angry about that. Like, I really am. You had no right. If you don't want to donate, don't. If you don't want to have a membership to me, don't. But don't tell other people that they shouldn't. It's ridiculous. Because I could have really used that money. You know, because I have, I don't know, bills. Because I'm trying to get through grad school. I had to cut down on the stuff that I do. It's just, it's a big mess. And I just don't appreciate it. I think it's selfish. Because I had a good thing going. And you take it away for what? A perceived jab it's not a good reason for that that's not a good enough reason sorry so we can listen to her say and like i said this is on queen b's channel we have a very fun history so what cracks me up is jameson keeps saying that i was talking about you without talking about you now jameson unless you saw what i was saying as something queen b is doing why would you presume that i was talking about queen b Right. So that's the way you see it, because that's not who I was speaking on. So it's funny that you automatically hear that and you you correlate it to Queen B. There's literally dozens. Do you guys know how big YouTube is? It's oh, yeah. part. This hot. is our community. And I am so sick of being watched and monitored and looked for an excuse for this guy to attack me. I have every single right to go around the community I am part of and participate in conversations without being literally sought out and attacked. Mm -hmm. Damn straight, Granny. Amen. I feel the same way. I feel hurt. There's conversations going on. I want to participate. You know, well, y'all are dragging me for hours on end, lying. Excuse me if I want to go to a chat and chat. Okay. Excuse me. I know. I'm just the worst. I'm so terrible. The big bad B. Such a fucking bitch. I know. I know. I know. Sue me. It's just, it's so stupid, guys. What is this? Why do I even have this? Oh, yes. If you hate me, hate me alone. Don't be out there lying about me, trying to recruit people to hate me with you. 
Okay, Granny? Okay, thanks. That goes for you too, Dorothy, at this point. But like I said, I'm willing to... I'm willing to pretend you don't exist. Just please stop lying about me. I did not lie about any of those things. I have shown proof to people of some of it, others of it. I just, I didn't do it. I swear on a stack of Bibles in a court of law. Like, honest to God, did not do that. I don't, I really don't know how else to, to say that. Like, I, I've been very, very, like, adamant about this. That's never going to change because I didn't do it. You know, some people have told me so I have a good idea who may have, but like, sure as fuck wasn't me. No, it's not me. I don't troll guys. Like, does that sound like something I would do? Like, can you search your brain for a minute? Like, stop to really think about it from what you've seen from me. Do, do I troll? Do I strike you as a troll? Probably not. I don't, I have enough anxiety as it is. Like, I don't want to pretend to be anybody else. Like, I, I really just don't have any desire to do that whatsoever. Um, is there anything else I want to talk about? Uh -huh. mm, probably not, not, not right now, I don't think. I think I got all that out there. I mean, I'm sure there's more. But like I said, make sure to hit that thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. If you'd like to become a member, I would love to start getting some memberships back. So I can get my channel going again and get back to where I was before it was so rudely taken from me for no fucking reason. I'm tired of people gaslighting me about being angry too. I'm so tired of it. I have every reason to be angry. Every reason. And like, I literally, like, I, I, don't, I don't know. It's whatever. It's whatever. It's whatever. So I think I got out what I wanted to say in this one. Um, I will be doing a live called The Nightmare Before Christmas. And that will be a very long live. Um, and it will be actually live. And you guys can be able to discuss stuff and talk in the chat. And um, I do want to say, though, like in kind of um, proactively here, um, I, I'm, I'm thinking we're going to start to see some people from, from different places showing up in my chat. Um, I've kind of tried to, I'm, I'm trying to get to know people that I wrote off, you know, I, I don't want to write people off that I don't know. And sometimes, sometimes you find out things aren't as they seem. And while I know that, you know, people from over in grannies will not be over in my chat because that's not allowed, um, as much as they would be welcomed because I, I like a great deal, a great number of you guys. And I, I can't even tell you how disappointing and like hard it's been for me. This is, I, I've been grappling with this for so, so long because it's like, it sucks. You know, I, I genuinely thought I had friendships with, with, um, with people and, you know, to find out that they just turn on you on the drop of a dime and like with no evidence whatsoever. And they just, they are, they're so quick to assume the worst of you. And it's been heartbreaking. I see some of you guys elsewhere in chats that are outside of this community. And I want to say hi so badly, but like, I guess I'm the worst, right? I guess um, I'm just some terrible person that it's just so bad and it's just such a terrible person to jazz when I've been nothing but a good friend. And I know you guys know that, but you're welcome in my chat and nobody will say shit to anybody. Like I really don't want that. You know, I'm not, I'm not about that. I just, I don't, I'm over the toxic stuff guys. Like I I'm going to do my drama content, but like, it doesn't have to be the way it's been. It really doesn't. There's no need for it to be like this. You know, I'm not willing to personally sell out, you know, just because Christmas is coming. I'm not really willing to do that. My integrity doesn't allow that. Um, part of me wishes it would because, like, you know, I could certainly use it. But, like, I just I can't do it. And what I'm going to be doing is I, I don't really need to, though, because, like, what I want to do is entertaining enough. I don't need to throw my so-called friends under the bus. Um, for what, I don't know. If you didn't like me, just say so. 
don't let me fight you. Like, uh, you guys don't even know the half of it. Like, you really don't. And I know a lot of you do know because you were, you know, you've seen it. But, like, you're going to gaslight me anyway. I don't even know why. But, like, I, there is a lot of stuff that you guys just don't know. And stuff will come out as it comes out. And it might come from me and it might come from somebody else. I don't know how I'm going to handle it yet. But that's, that's kind of where I'm at. And, you know, I just hope people kind of give me a chance here because, like, it's it's so frustrating it's so frustrating you know if i had done something wrong i'd own it and i wouldn't make a big deal about it because i would have deserved it if i had really done something so terrible to her i wouldn't be speaking up about it i'd put my tail between my legs and i'd go hide it's kind of how i am you know if i did something wrong i'm not about i'll admit it and i'll accept my consequences and responsibility and I'll go away. Uh, but I didn't fucking do this. I didn't do any of that. So I will not tuck my tail between my legs and wander off and, you know, go hide and, you know, leave the community, which is what some of you have told me to do. I'm not going to do that because I have nothing to answer for. Whereas you have quite a bit to answer for. You know, not doing it. I'm not taking, I'm not backing down on this. I didn't fucking do it. I didn't fucking do anything to her. I didn't do anything to fucking Dorothy either. You know, aside from some lives. But like, I mean, that's how this goes in here. So I, I really, like, I never did anything really terrible. But like, I'm not even going to minimize that. Because at this point, I don't care about that situation. I just want her to stop lying. I want both of them to stop lying. I don't even know half the shit Jessa said, though, so, like, I don't know. I'm sure there's more. The more I hear, the angrier I get. And it's like, you know, at first, like, I wasn't going to get that upset because, like, you know, there's if she doesn't like me and she wants to talk about it, fine. But then I find out that she's the reason that I've lost all my members and that people didn't donate to my fund, that she's behind that. And then I find out that, like, you know, she, she's up on panels dragging me for days and days and days, for hours and hours and hours, telling lies. Bringing my family into it. So yeah, I'm fucking angry. You can't kick a beehive and not get stung. It doesn't work like that. Just because I'm a smaller channel and I'm not as important as she is, as far as the hierarchy and pecking order, does not mean that she deserves better, different treat. It doesn't, I will not work like that. As far as I'm concerned, I don't, nobody here is better than me. Okay. Just like I'm not better than anybody. Well, I mean, I don't know. At this point, I've seen some shit on this here that I can, I don't know. I don't even know how to say that. There's just some shit that happens on here that I just, just wouldn't do. But, um, you know, like you, you, you're not more important than I am. If that's what you want to tell yourself, fine. But you're not. I have every right to be here. I have every right to stand my ground. I have every right to make money doing what I'm doing. I have every right to go to whatever chat I want to and speak to whoever I want to. Every right. And I have every right not to be dragged for hours and having all these lies told and then expected to keep my mouth shut. I will not do that. And shame on you for asking me to. Just, it's so stupid. And this is going to take hours to upload. Oh my God. We're over two hours now. Um, yeah, so let me wrap this up and I'll upload it. And like I said, make sure to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. Please consider becoming a member. That would be absolutely fabulous. Uh, of course, you know, because, you know, right? I mean, I can, do you want me to go with this narrative too. I mean, Christmas is coming. You know, I mean, I don't know. I would like to make enough money for, you know, AdSense to actually pay me out this month. That would be great. <laughs> so, I don't know, laugh it, laugh it up. Make fun of me. I know, it's so, so funny. I know, so funny. I know. Um, 
but yeah, so I'm going to end this. I will be back on very soon. If not tomorrow night, hopefully tomorrow. Cause I'm putting together, I have to put all this. It, it's a lot of video. There's a lot of screenshots. I've we're, we're going all in. We're going all in guys. I'm putting this to bed and then I'm going to just do what I see fit. But like, I need to get all this out. All right. So that's what we're going to do. And I will see you all very, very, very soon.